Hi guys, welcome back. So this is just a really quick how-to video. Uh, we'll show you what we're gonna fit to Max Mustang. We've done stuff on my Mustang, but we're gonna do some on his. This will only be a short video, because it takes five minutes. All right, so uh, yeah, Matt can't actually reach in the boot now the car's up, so he's had to stand on his box. So anyway, so what we've got is a Roush Axleback for a 2016 Mustang S550. Um, Max just bought the car a few weeks ago. We thought it was a stock exhaust, but actually we've just gone underneath and had a look. And it looks like it's had a Steeder H-pipe fitted. So this car is gonna go from sounding sort of stock to sounding mega loud. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be a good sound. All right, so we're gonna go. So as you see, Max just unboxed it. What we'll do is we'll give you a quick before, what it sounds like before, and then obviously when we fitted it, we'll give you an after, but we'll do that comparison at the end. So yeah, we're just getting everything set up now. Tools we'll need for this is a reciprocating saw, and I think, I will clarify, but I think it's a 10 mil. So Max using his fingers to just mark a line, but we just mocked up where the new one will sit roughly. Uh, and obviously you can see there, there's, there's quite a bit of play uh, anyway, but if we sort of get it near and there, look, that'll be bang on. And then by the time we get the bracket in and tighten it up, it should be golden. So yeah, let's get to cutting. All right, so Max got his reciprocating saw, glasses, safety glasses, safety first, ladies and gents. So dead easy now, just a case of uh, straight through, he says. Uh, <laughs> no pressure, mate. Well, I'm not nervous at all, you know. Nah, don't be nervous, mate, it's just a car. What do you reckon now, then? Yeah, give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? This doesn't sound very charged. A few moments later. Oh, there we go. It's a big ass, heavy Ooh. bit of metal. There you go, look. It's a weight, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, full of baffles, mate. Full of baffles to make it sound bad. So as you can see, my, uh, Max favourite term, as you can see. Yeah, it looks a bit a messy, so we'll get a file on it. Uh, we've got a file over here. People were asking about the Rover as well in our last video. Um, that's very nice. So we'll just file it off and then we'll test fit the new one. And, uh, we'll put this on. Right, so it's filed it off nice and smooth around the edge. Uh, so we've got the new one, which is a lot easier to manhandle. Uh, we've got the clamp on, it's a 15mm socket. Um, so we're just going to fit it up now just up there slides in nicely he did say a five minute video but this is going to be much bigger than a five minute video isn't it so now it's in you can sort of give it a bit of wiggle and then what we want to do as well is we want to sort of line it up with the tip it's not too far off actually that buddy to be fair right then so here's a nice bit that everyone's going to see Ooh, shiny oh cardboard <laughs> my dirty hands all over it yeah oh nice should say Roush on the top as well doesn't it oh look at that beautiful so we'll just sort of test fit it for now we haven't tightened anything up we'll just test fit it and see how it sits mm. yeah yes yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little bit over it's not bad though it's not too bad to be fair it's not touching anything is it Bearing in mind, you're not going to get that much sort of movement anyway because of where the exhaust hangers sit. Yeah, let's see if we can give it a push. Yeah, we can give it a push. Yeah, like I said before, this five minute video is turned into like a 15 minute video. But... Oh, we've got with us. Oh yeah, that's perfect, mate. I would say you ah, bob so on there, man. That's fine at that. Yeah, I'd say bob on. So yeah, it's now just a case of uh, aligning the clamps and then tightening them up once you're happy with the position. Easy peasy. It's right. Just the other side to do now. Right guys, so that's it on, tightened. Uh, Max put it up there so it's out of the way, there's enough room and it's not near your rear sway bar. So, I mean, that's a solid part anyway. So it's nice and tidy, all flush, all tight. And uh, he's lined his tips up on this one and that looks sweet. A little bit close on that side, but again, it's just a hanger. You know, there's there's a gap and the way the exhaust sits in, I mean, that's it's, that's it's lovely. 
Uh, but again, this is a personal preference. You can adjust, you can actually, if you wanted to, you can actually take a little bit more off where the cut was and move it further in. So, you know, it, but you know, it's, it's down to you. Uh, but Max happy. I'm happy. So with a bit of editing magic, we'll go from this to this look. So that's the other side fitted now, the, the uh, driver's side, so that's them both fitted, both nice and tight. Tips are all sorted, lovely jubbly. And right then, so everything's fitted, everything's tight. Max in the car, just about to start and see what it sounds like. Yep. Jubbly. Right guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Nice and easy quick video. Really easy mod. Uh, stay tuned to the next one. More Monza videos and Manta videos coming soon. New project on the way. So like and subscribe, all that jazz. So thanks for watching and see you later, Mac. Very happy. <laughs> so, right, guys.